they didn't solve our ozone problem. And they didn't find a cure for cancer. They didn't even come close. But that's not really the point of all this. When Steve Hartman went to Breck Lower School this afternoon, he wasn't looking for a better mousetrap. He was just looking for enthusiasm. And that's what he found in tonight's Heart of the Cities. My science project is how our violins sing. What's it like touching a cow's eye? Feels gross. Pretty ferocious tornado. Why do they always go for mobile home parks? What do they call those things? Gills. Gills. Ten. Hut. For your review, ladies and gentlemen, the Breck Lower School Second Grade Science Projects. I'd like to show you around some more. Watch your head. I'm from Breck School Science Fair, and... You have a lot of problems with that thing hitting you? Well, not really. That's the moon you saw crashing into Ryan there. He says it's proving his hypothesis. Uh, what's a hypothesis? You know, it's like a Thory. A, a Thory? I don't know how to say the word, but it's an idea. How the moon got started going around the Earth. How the moon got started going around the Earth. That's the subject of Ryan Alberg's science project. But he's learned a lot more about the moon than just that. How old is the moon? 4.6 billion years. Oh, see what I mean? The crater is, is a deep hole. A hole deep that's deep made... Hole. Yeah, deep hole. The daily temperature, if the moon is playing no sun, I would say it would be pretty cold. What kind of rock? So, I'm not sure. Moon rock. Next year, Ryan says he's doing a science project about planet Earth. Says that's all he can do, really, after conquering space. Oh, well, you know everything there is to know about the moon? Pretty much. Yeah. Steve Hartman, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Oh, Never go wrong with kids, no. do you? I think our world will be in great shape when they take <laughs> over someday. That's it for now. Thank you for making us a part of your day. Good night.